Hi, first graders. Today we're going to read the story of Alma and how she got her name. While I'm reading, I want you to think about how does Alma feel about her name? I also want you to try to make a connection. Think about how she feels about her name. And then how do you feel about your name? Do you like your name? Or do you sometimes wish you had a different name? You can get your elephant if you'd like to have your elephant join you for the story, or you can watch this video with somebody from your family who you want to talk to. Alma and how she got her name by Juana Martinez Nia or Neil. Alma and how she got her name. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela had a long name, too long, if you asked her. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Stop and think for a minute. How is she feeling about her name right now? Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. There's Grandma Sophia. I love books and flowers and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. How is she feeling now about the Sophia part of her name? Esperanza was your great grandmother, he continued. Your great grandmother is your grandmother's mother. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. You can see she's imagining all the different places in the world that she would like to go. Where would you like to go in the world? Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. There's the grandfather painting. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, daddy. I am Jose. How is she feeling about her name now? Now that she knows all the stories about the people she was named for. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura, it's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. What do you see happening in this picture? Do you see the people are marching in a protest and they're holding signs? The signs are in Spanish. I'll tell you what they say. This one says escucha, which means listen. This one says piensa, which means think. And this one says denuncia which means mm, it's kind of like change or make it different. So these are all people who are marching to make things better. You might have seen something like that this summer. I am Candela. She wants to march in a protest too. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. 
You are the first and the only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. Now, before I close this book, I want to tell you a little bit about the real author of this story. So here's a picture of Alma, and she has a book called Mi Historia, which means my story. And now here's a note from Juana. Juana is the author and the illustrator of this story. Here's what she says. My name is Juana Carlota Martinez Pizarro. She has a long name too. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle, Carlos. My father was a man of decisions. So when it was time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlota on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlota was the mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name of all in Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, after I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell? So today, I want you to think about the story of Alma and how she got her name and ask you, how do you feel about your name? Do you love your name or do you wish you had a different name? You can make a video and tell us. And you can also tell us how did Alma feel about her name? At the beginning of the story, she thought her name was too long. But at the end of the story, hmm, she changed her mind, didn't she?